So it's late afternoon. I haven't been feeling very well. Um, I don't really know why. I think it's because something is draining. My I don't know something's draining in my throat. It's not a good feel. It's not a good look. Um, but I still have to do work. Being big girl. And which means I need to plan out my week. At the very least, today I need to plan out my week and finish my table. And really, I need to finish my discussion starters. Those are three things I need to do. But I'm going to try and sit here and rest for like another hour. So that um, I can try and, I don't know, be as mentally prepared as possible to do those things. So... Yeah, I'll see you then. So, one hour turned into a couple hours, which turned into, it's almost 8 o'clock now. Um, I did wake up about an hour ago, and I did do some work. I did, like, half an assignment and two of the things in my planner. Um, and I also got work moved for tomorrow because I'm not really sure I'm going to be able to make it. Um, so, yeah. But we're going to go ahead and do the quote of the day because I haven't posted a vlog in two days and I feel bad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and post a vlog, or the last two vlogs, and then um, and I'm going to go to sleep. Um, so let's do the quote of the day. So the quote of the day is, words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. Um, and that's by Edgar Allan Poe. And I think basically that's a beautiful way of saying like if it's not true it's not going to bother you in other words you relate to things and you are affected by things that have some inkling of truth to them especially like that's the same reason why we relate to songs or um, movies because we can at some point somehow place ourselves into that moment slash situation slash sentence word feeling um, and I think it's important that we realize this because if you think about all the people that love that song or relate to that song, that kind of shows us about the universi universality of, um, all of the things that we experience as humans, and it makes you realize, like, we're not all that different after all. Like, we all have very similar experiences. At some point, most of us feel most of the same, you know, feelings, so... Yeah, that's what I have to say about that. And so on that note, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm signing off. Um, I'm Raven, and this is my eye view.